Oh, how else? <laughs> Ew, woo. Welcome back to the Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. Yay! Hello, my. Oh my gosh, I sounded like uh, Tiny. What is it, Tiny Tim? What is his name? I'm so happy, oh happy and happy as me. Ooh. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood this morning. I woke up really friggin' weird. Tiny Tim, yay! I love Tiny Tim. Even though, like, kind of a weird dude, but... Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. The song, the, the music is enough for me. Oh, through the tulips. Through, to, through the tulips. No, no, it's sound like that doesn't sound right, even though it's tiptoed through the tulips. I don't know. I woke up weird. Um, I stepped on a uh, YouTube landmine while I was just flicking through shorts when I woke up this morning because I hate getting out of bed, and so like I look through YouTube shorts until like it's way too late. I gotta stop doing that. Um, but like, oh wait. I know why my head's not working right now. I'll be right back. <laughs> back again. Sorry. I just realized that my, I hadn't taken my medication. I'm just like, why is it so hard to, like, string shorts together? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm unmedicated. Right. Yeah, that, that, that'll do it. That, that will indeed make my brain not work. Yeah, literally, literally woke up this morning, and uh, one of the first videos that I saw was one about. Uh, it was a very, it was a cute video. It, like it was a dog. It was a dog at the pearly gates, and the dog was just like, and God was like, oh, what, how how did you die? And the dog was just like, I was hugging my best friend. And the God God was just like, oh no no no, but how did you die? And the dog's just like thought about it. I don't know. I don't care. I was hugging my best friend. And like in the background, it was just like a picture of, you know, obviously getting put down. And then I re that made me remember my old dog and uh, me hugging him. And I like literally just like... Which is not a bad thing. It's okay to cry about, you know, people you miss and people you've lost. It's just, I wasn't expecting it to just like go... Bleh. Well, side effects of going off of antidepressants, I suppose. Safely, with doctor's approval and all that sort of stuff. Mm hmm. Oh, it was just that. It was just that moment, because um, I, I got to hold the uh, Dougie when they put him down. And, yeah, I just, I still miss him. Whoa, there's new items? What? Ooh. Hmm. Plain mail course, the new moon fox. Oh, look at it, look at that fox. Cult of the new moon? Wraith of crows. That looks cool. New moon gua calf. Bear cub. Grum Grundwolf. Candlefly gathering. Blood drained thrall. Why would I want to look like that? Alright. Let's get our materials. Did I say that, did you mention that you were going on a new routine? Sorry, I missed that with my like hectic start. Let me just say. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it's late as well. Oh my gosh, I'm like the worst streamer ever. I am literally the worst. On calorie counting? Why is that? I I could never really. I I I calorie counting for me ain't gonna work. It's gonna be just like just eat less. That's it. <laughs> just cut things in half. Mm -hmm. 
But that's just because... I guess what did work, rather than the calorie counting, was to look at what things, um had in them and like maybe question a little bit like what how much of it I wanted to put in put in me you want to force yourself to keep to a schedule based I like being put on a schedule you know what sucks though realizing that a lot of the techniques I've built to function as a human being with ADHD are the same techniques that uh, capital capitalists use to like drain labor from us also Nobody told me. Just notice this. Come on. Come on, where are you? Factory game? No. Where is it? Where is you? There we go. Hold it, challenge. Ah, back to it. What was they doing? I was looking at the research. Researching is done. I don't need to worry about anything anymore. Ever. I don't know how many sales that's done. I should probably donate some cash. Wee! Wee! Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. <laughs> oh, I'm only 12, 12, plus 6, 18, plus 3, 21 days away from, like, filling out my character capacity. Does comics, comics based on the Grim, based on the Grim Reaper, a patient, patient focusing on the Grim, helping guide the similar of animals, it's really sad, often to show relations between being around the cold and such, feel that aren't sad, aww. I mean, my Grim Reaper is always going... My favourite Grim Reaper is always, always going to be Terry Pratchett's death. Just, I just love it. Just the way that he can convey emotion without conveying any emotion at all. It's just very, very interesting um, take on a stoic character. A ghost dog trying to go trick-or-treating. Oh, very cute. I mean, that would be fine. It's just more like sparking the memory of my, uh, my dead dog this morning kind of like set me off. Um. Sit down, Isabel. Oh, I guess you're gonna stand. Ready to write the next chapter? Of course. How do you feel about a friendship? Tell me something about yourself. Drake, the undaunted art. You have quick fingers. What would you ask of me? I have quick fingers. Whoa! <laughs> oh, so dumb. My rapport is that way. She is grateful we are friends. Damn right you are. Interesting. I like her out outfit as it is right now, really. Do 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 la da dee la da do la da dum. Next character.
Grim Creeper Cat tries to get a dead cat to come. Oh, that's cute. And guess what's happening today? Also, another reason that I'm late today is because I was doing my eyebrows. Well, yeah. I mean, sure, I'm sad that I don't have Doggy anymore, but like, there was some awesome times we had. We we went and got we went and got lamb ribs together, so take him for drives and we'll take him out for walks and all that stuff. I took care of him when he was sick, you know. I really love my, love my big, my big old doggy. My big old doggy. I was not prepared to like, bawl my eyes out this morning. It was hilarious. But also sad. <laughs> but now I'm just like... Whew, waiting for my... Can you believe it? Dragons, in your own homeland! Nothing. But he hopes his family is safe in Liverpool. Isn't that basically like going up to someone from Ukraine and be like, Oh my gosh, it's awful. Russians are invading your home. What are you gonna do? Like that's such 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 an awful fucking thing to say. What a bitch. Although she is Altma, so yeah, friggin' not surprised, I guess, at the end of the day. <sighs> Death and life aren't rivals, they're lovers. Very cute. Oh, Polymorphed. Is that a tiny mammoth? That is so cute! Little tiny pet mammoth! Ah! I love that! 15 minutes. Oh, that ain't gonna happen today. What are you, a soft robes mage? Move. Your writing focus tonight will be for a Ghostbuster type story. Ghostbusters! That's the theme, right? No 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 Ghostbuster No that doesn't sound right. Um Ghostbusters No wait that's Batman again shit uh Ghostbusters 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 da 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 No I can't remember But for the best version of the Ghostbusters song, you gotta check out Boston by Neil Cicerega. Amazing shit. Just look it up now. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing! Also, guess what? I'm seeing my boo today! I'm going over to my, my boo's house! Boston, 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 Boston. If you know, you know, you know? You know. You know. <laughs> Hold on, something else important. I ain't afraid of no bed. I'm not afraid of no sleep. <sighs> The best version. 
I took this off because um, I was planning on bleaching my hair last night. Oops. I don't know. Take all my meds right now, yeah. I'm just discombobulated this morning. This is the hardest one to do, because I can't see it. Why can't I stay? Why isn't it opening? Got it. Yep. See, I do it without my eyes, because I'm amazing my necklace. Because I'm just like, <laughs> I was literally going like, yay, I'm seeing my boo. I'm like, oh, where's my boo's necklace? And then I freaked out. I took it off because I didn't want to like ruin it, because I was planning on bleaching my hair last night. Um, but I didn't have enough of the developer, and I did not want to leave the house, because I was already in my um, pajamas, ready to like, you know, I don't care if I ruin my pajamas. Alright. This is what I think of every time I see this character run. She just runs so damn fast, it's awesome. It's the best! You're in a ghostly mood. I feel like some ghostly food. Send ghastly nude. Spiritual dude. Nee, 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 runs in circles. That's runs that's why I called I called this character runs in hexes. Because it runs in hexagons instead of runs in circles. Nee, 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 nee. Nee, 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 nee. Sorry, one of my favorite characters in all of, uh, all of, uh, Elder Scrolls lore. Yeah. Alright, this one is done. I have not. I know, like, the pe there's a lot of people who like that movie a lot more than I do. I mean, I like the movie, but there's other people that like it a lot. I think um, the two, there's two musicals that I've gone to see. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera and War of the Worlds. And the, they, they were probably, yeah, they were amazing. The musical improves it. Gabagoo, Gabagoo, Gabagoo. Hey, I'm seeing heading up to Edinburgh. I call it Edinburgh because it's so far north. Um, to see my boo. Oh gosh, I miss him. I miss like fucking living in the same fucking house as him. I really hate landlords. Yeah. Please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. What the fuck is this chat? What I told you can prevent a rape, by the way. You know it's gonna make fun of it. There's some real Andrew Tate energy you're given. Do you feel the women feed?
the fuck? Wait, Beetlejuice wants to marry the girl? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Steven Crowder is trying to fight the Daily Wire. Clown world. Fucking hell! So this is a Wendy's. Someone's screaming about rape in the in the zone chat. What the fuck? All right, researching. So fucking weird. Yeah. Ugh. His dad must have gone on holiday. No one there to, like, do the controlling of him. You know what I mean? Why is there encoding lag? Stop the encoding lag. Um, research. Still got another day in that. I need to research this shield because it's, um, I'm so, I'm so close to being able to do, like, master writs. Fucking so close. But that's gonna take like another, like, two weeks to research. I feel like... One thing this game does give me... Is satisfaction, like... The, the, to, like... I, I, I've, I've worked every day on these characters. And they're like, sh they're all shaping up in their own individual way. And I feel super happy about that. I just like that this game does that. The problem being that the system of research in this game is super... Um, it, it, it's, it's, it works for me, but it's um, super... Uh, what's the word? Predatory. Because um, it's, it might be hard to see on the screen here, you can actually buy... Oh, where are they? Utility. You can buy, um... Where are they? Ah, uh, here we go. No? Ah, research. You can buy instant research scrolls. Oh my gosh, grand research? I didn't even realize that was a thing. Jeez. I could, I could, I could research the whole damn the whole damn uh, world with that. But that's um, 5,000 crowns, right? 5,000 crowns, huh? 5,000 crowns. I mean, that that wouldn't... Uh, that, that, that can't be that much. How much is 5,000 crowns in this game? You know? How much is 5,000 crowns? Uh, 5,000... Oh, sorry. They don't sell them in 5,000 5, because that'd be too easy. They have to sell you extra. So there's 5,500 crown pack. In Australian dollars, that is $52.95. So if I wanted to speed up the progress of the research system of this game, I would, just to research one, oh, like a maximum of three items to reduce the amount of time by 15 days, it would cost me 50 bucks. I bought the game... I bought, well, the current High Isle expansion game for less than $50. That's fucked. That is actually fucked. Holy shit. I had a friend the- oh, hello, Happy Puritan, we were talking about you yesterday. I'm not gonna tell you about what. You're just gonna have to, like, you're just gonna have to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch my videos until you find it. <laughs> why is my why do I have encoding lag? Ugh. I hope things are appearing on your screen good. Okay, that's uh, everything done.
that's all the characters done. All the characters are done. All right. Well, um, I don't feel like doing that today. I'm going to get back into. What did I say? Nothing. Nothing important. It's never anything important. You just don't listen. You just don't listen. <laughs> what? What did I say yesterday? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, so basically, I was just we were just talking about um how, like, there seems to be like a trans streamer ecosystem that I that I seem to be a part of in some way, but I don't understand and I don't know anything about. And that, um, like, so many other trans streamers, like, know who you are, Happy Puritan, and I just find that really interesting. Sad as Foxy. What do you reckon? Is that a good title? Because I'm playing... But yeah, um, it, I, I, I am interested. If the, the, does anyone have like a clip of um, it, it, does anyone know a uh, clip of? Uh... Oh shit, he's so mid. I forgot his name. Crowder. Does anyone have a, like a clip of Crowder wanting to unionize? Because that would be fucking hilarious to react to. Also, also, um, someone sent me the uh, Salmon Forest sent me this. Um, and it uh, made me laugh. Uh... You're infamous. I don't know about infamous. Like, you're actually polite. I was going through my ban list and, like, you're actually polite. You're not, like, you're not, you don't come into my stream telling me that uh, Allah is going to, to punish me for existing. Like, you, you actually, like, argue and stuff, and, like, the, I appreciate, I, I appreciate your, your participation, Happy Puritan, in ways that I would not appreciate, um, other people that I've, uh, debated or spoken to in the past. You are an example of someone who is, has a different view that I can get along with different views than me that I can still get along with. You know? How do you like that, Libs? How's that? How is that, Voosh? Voosh, Voosh R? Wait. Isn't there another. Roosh. Roosh V. Oh my gosh, I just realized, are you conservative? Well, you say you're conservative. Are you playing a ro like, I, no shade, but like, are you playing a, um, uh, a bit? Like, I, I, like, I don't want to, like, say that, but, uh, like, I don't mind either way. If you, if you're playing a bit. Like, but if you aren't, then, like, I still appreciate your participation. You know what I mean? I just like, I don't know, it just made me think, just like, you, you, you are a small C conservative? Yeah, but like, you can call yourself a small C conservative if you like, but you are actually more consistent than uh, most conservatives I've, I've interacted with, so again, that kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me, you know what I mean? What? Why? I don't know why that makes me feel sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? That kind of that kind of makes me feel sad. It just you know what you know why that makes me feel sad because because it feels like other people have ruined ruined it for you, and that makes me feel sad. See, I wouldn't mind like interacting with conservatives who actually like. Yeah, yeah. All I can say to that is that Christian, like, calling myself a Christian comes with a lot of baggage and confuses a lot of people. But I'm, I must still call myself Christian. Yeah, good. 
We, I, I, hey, hey, happy Puritan. We can we can both hate on the libs together, right? We can at least do that. Oh, what? Oh, that's why. It's because I've lost everything that all of my progress. Oh, oh well, I lost all the progress between the last auto set because it crashed. That's alright though. I discovered a new way to like do all of this stuff, by the way, that I'm currently uh. Yeah. No, that's one of my favorite memes. Is the is the is that is the you know the 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 two mostly handshakes like one side like me an anarchist and on the other side conservative and in the middle it's like hating on liberals. It's just or clowning on them, I guess. Good Christian, yeah, I love Jesus. Fuck yeah, Jesus was based. Jesus was communist as fuck. I really want to get like surgery on my vocal cords to make to to make myself actually sound like feminine to me. And I'm not saying that because I want I'm the, I don't want I'm not saying hey I want this thing uh please pity me. Um it, it's like because I don't really give a fuck what other people think about how my voice sounds. I care about how I feel my voice sounds. I'm sorry if that sounds, uh, it, I'm just, that's narcissistic as fuck, but, like, I, I don't, yeah, I don't care. I have, I have certain things that I want about myself. Um, they shave them off, like, well, not shave them off, they just, because, um, what happens when you go through puberty is that they, um, um, when you go through masculine puberty, um, it lengthens your vocal cords, um, and so it basically, what they do is they shave them and then the scar tissue actually tightens them. So yeah, it does tighten them. For lack of a better term, yes, you are correct. Or lack of a better way to describe it. But yeah, the, the scar tissue kind of uh, tightens it. I mean, it might ru it might ruin my singing voice, which y'all haven't really heard much of, because I, I would love to do more singing on streams. I really want to set up, um, um, my, my brother's got a, um, keyboard in here, and I really kind of want to set it up. The botch and brought him more, pa more pain, but to, for vocal I hear it's either perfect or horrible. Um, worth it. And by the time, by the time I can, I, I, the thing is though, I, I, I won't, I wouldn't, um, end up, uh, being able to afford it in my lifetime, probably, like, money-wise. What's my favorite hymn? I don't like them. Sorry. Um, but I do, I do like Hildegard von Blingen, uh, Bingen, sorry, I, I, yeah, Hildegard von Bingen did, did a lot of, uh, good work, and she was, like, gay, she was, she was gay as fuck. She was definitely gay. She was, she was, a, she was a super lesbian, come on, look at her history. Seriously, uh, if you want to look up, also, you sent me a link, sorry. What was the link you sent me? An error occurred. Are you gonna? It's just gonna be fucking. What is this gonna be? It's gonna be fucking porn. Oh, this. Oh, you sent me this before. This is. Uh, oh, this is um that piece of shit. But behemoth. Oh, you. No wait. Who is this? Behemoth. I don't know. I can play it in the background. Uh, what I will do is we we can laugh at this for a second. I I just want to kind of look this up for a sec. SJW YouTube. I want to see if this is real. The quarter poundering gasp at the hymn. I I prefer hers, honestly, as a personal preference. Like I'm dating a hymn, but um, I'm, I I I prefer hers. No, I like my previous history has been preferring hers. But oh my gosh, like my brain chemistry is changing over time. It's really interesting. Um, I was listening to the music from Up. You know the do 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 do. No wait, no, no, that's um upside down. Uh, no, inside out. Uh, what was? I can't remember, but like I was listening to the theme music for Up. So just get that in your head for a second. And then I was thinking about the first ten minutes of that movie, which I don't want to spoil for anyone. But basically, 
um, two old two two people live out their lives together in happiness, like a straight couple, and just like for the first time, I saw myself. In uh, I, I I see myself I saw myself in those characters and the thought of leaving my uh, partner behind you know like after I die is just like I don't know it's just I'm just looking at um, men differently now in public I'm looking at the way that they um, wear fashion and I'm thinking to myself oh like what would my my partner look good in just weird thoughts like that. You gotta remember, um... Oh shit, no, he's the quartering. I typed in my joke name for him, but thought it was confused why I wasn't showing up. Okay. Did he really, like... Okay, why has why he put himself as a boxer there? Who is he boxing? Um, Ubisoft, Ubisoft collapses, good. YouTube just, it just gets way worse. Uh, blah, blah. Space is cancelled, and there's a picture of, I think that's Steven Crowder in drag. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Social justice sex pest. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got, um, the, the based, uh, the based, uh, feminist. In here, um, also he's got a picture of. Uh, um, yeah. Hold on a second, Lee. I'm not gonna play this video. Um, but I do want, I do want to recommend anyone who's watching me right now to maybe just like stop, for a second, watching me and listening to me and um watch this video um it is very confronting uh obviously but this is this is the person who one of the victims of andrew callahan talking in her own voice i don't i really don't want to I, I really don't want to do a reaction to this so i'd rather if people just watch it just watch it maybe like if I can remember, like, for the next week, I'm just going to, at intervals, just tell people to, you know, watch this video. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, if she does end up uh, getting clout from that, I hope she blows up. It's just... There is one... If there's one thing that I don't understand about people's mentality when it comes to rape allegations is when people say oh she's just doing it for cloud why is she just coming out about it right now when they're famous they're just trying to get money or cloud I can tell you as an abuse survivor that I am fucking lucky that I never, that my abuser is not famous, that I don't have to see their fucking face every day. I think about whether I was one of, if I ended up being one of one of these women that were um, assaulted by Andrew Callahan, like, I would see his face everywhere. And not only that, but right now, I would be seeing so many people defending his actions, defending his apologies. Andrew Callahan, he's, um, all gas, no brakes. Um, he's, uh, he, he raped a bunch of women, uh, allegedly. Obviously, I am just joking about everything. I am, I am obvious, like, you know, I'm, I'm, it's just a joke. Y'all, stop, stop being so, so snowflake. Don't be snowflake. I, I'm, it's just a joke. Um, now that I've got that over and done with, and people can't cancel me because obviously, if I'm just telling a joke, then then you can't cancel me. Um, yeah, he raped a bunch of women, and uh, 
hasn't apologized to them publicly. The only people he's apologized to are his um, uh, his his uh, investors. I, I refuse to call them friends because they are whether they are friends with him or not. They're also his investors. They 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 are financially invested in um, his his shit. So yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the the discourse around that has been both heartening and disheartening. Um, like, th th there have been very, very positive responses from, I feel like the majority of people have responded really positively to, 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 these, uh, to this stuff coming out um, in ways I haven't seen before, honestly. I was expecting this whole thing to go down, like the Amber, Amber Heard trial, which, you know, was disgusting. I think we can all agree on how awful that was. Um, yeah. But yeah. The amount of... Everyone needs to call out this stuff. Mm. But the but you really like I I don't think that people people who haven't been through abuse just don't can't seem to quite quite get it. They like, don't quite understand it that it's not about revenge. It's not about clout. It's the fact that Andrew Callahan is now famous. His face is everywhere, and people who people who um, he abused see his face everywhere, and they are going to revisit the trauma of what he did to them every time someone brings up one of his videos. Every time. Like, you can miss me with the whole, oh, you're ruining a young boy's life. Uh, he did that to himself. And you are continuing to perpetuate the same circumstances which led to him making the decisions that ruined his own life. Because enabling this kind of, um, you know, 90s sitcom uh, uh, persuasion is love you know like being a sex basically like uh, the rom-coms in the 90s basically taught, taught an entire generation of men that um being a sex pest is actually romantic go back and watch some of these movies like it's so fucking creepy and i didn't realize that at the time because i didn't i didn't realize uh what i was who i was but in hindsight I think even then I would have been, like, really fucking concerned about this shit. Yeah. But yeah, take some time to watch that video. A um, little bit of homework from me to you. Uh, it's worth a watch to... Just, just, just to hear it from... Hear, hear it from one of the survivors. Um, it's pretty similar to what I've said about the issue already. And I really want you to think about the way we treat victims of sexual violence. Uh, survivors of uh, sexual violence, I think, is the uh, appropriate term. I'm, I'm noticing that that's the way that other other women speak to them to talk about the issue uh, I, I tend to call myself a victim of it because it was imposed upon me um and it's not something that i feel like i've survived it's something that i fucking live with um not of sexual abuse obviously uh, but of uh, physical and uh, emotional abuse um didn't fucking survive that. If I survived that, then I wouldn't be thinking about it or talking about it anymore. Yeah.
it's just important to listen to the voices of those who have been hurt and understanding what it means to call out these people and the fact is that as long as Andrew Callahan has his face on a screen as long as that happens he is going to continue to visit pain and harm on the people that he raped allegedly yeah <sighs> Sorry I keep talking about that. I know it's like, it's not a fun topic to, like, listen to. Like, it's a pretty dark topic. I'll admit that. But it's still important. It doesn't go away when we stop looking at it and stop talking about it. Just leaves us unprepared for the next time it rears its ugly head. So we should keep talking about it constantly until, you know, we're all familiar with these things. Till we're used to talking about it, until we're used to calling it out, till we're used to all of this stuff. Exposure therapy. So society mode. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy to t talk to other people about uh, their opinions about it, but I don't really want to do a direct reaction to any more of the victim or the the survivors' um, uh, uh, videos that they make. I just feel weird about that now. Just doesn't feel right to me to um, to profit from that. I mean, it's not as if I'm making profits per se with my my uh, content at the moment but like it's still something that I would that that I don't really feel comfortable with I guess But yeah, I guess, I yeah, that's right, that's right, that's what I was uh, starting to say earlier. Like, I hope that uh, she blows up and that she uh, gets, uh, she, I hope that she gets um, a platform to speak about these issues, uh, like, if she wants to, obviously. And I hope that uh, Andrew Callahan uh, doesn't go a day of his life without hearing about um, these issues. Because that, to me, is revenge. And it is just revenge. Um, some things you can't take back. Some things you you can't take away. And the best thing that Andrew Callahan can do at this point is to fuck off and um, never show his face in a in like a uh, public setting again. Uh, you know. If he wants to continue doing the editing for these, uh, in the best thing he can do is get someone else to do the to do the um, interviewing and the, be the face of uh, whatever he does. Um, and uh, because his apparently, from what I've heard, like the editing is where it's at. So yeah, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to have your face and name splashed over everything in order to edit videos. So uh, yeah, stay in your fucking lane from now on. Fuck off. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you.
And for the fuck's and for fuck's sake, for shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear about your opinions about rape. Nobody. Especially not the animals that uh, you've abused. Allegedly. Putting your to your own admission. All right, so we're doing pretty good for this. So basically what I want to do is I want to find an edge to put this train this train station basically which I suppose would probably be around here ish so I need to work backwards from the road is the is the plan so I need to have that as the end point I guess this this part here yeah because this is like the edge of the whole sector so train station ends here starts here and ends here this is this is where the corner of the train station i guess will be so to uh, designate that i'm going to put a frame pillar and zoop it Yeah, okay, that's the edge. Gonna be in the way of uh, all of this. This is all gonna have to be destroyed. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. So this is the height, I think. Conser, you're back. Conservatism time. Did you? Oh, wait, did you? Wait, did you watch the video? I was just curious to see if anyone did. Conservatism time. It's Morbin time. It's 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 pure to Morbin. Morbin time. What does conservatism have to say about um, se sexual assault and like how to deal with that? Because punitive justice isn't necessary. Well, I mean, it does. It doesn't happen for like, rapists, like really. Not not for people with money and power and influence. It just doesn't like. There, there is no like punitive justice justice for people like that um, unless it like affects the lives of other rich people I suppose it doesn't in theory broadly a tendency what's the tendency sorry Oh, you mean it doesn't have to, anything to say, so to speak? I'm not saying that as an insult, by the way. Just... Yeah. I understand that, like, punitive justice is very traditional. I just... It's just a... It just feels like, like, uh... Well, I mean, not feels like. When you look at the numbers, it doesn't seem to have worked as much as, you know, waiting for lead, lead to come, go out of the atmosphere. If that makes any sense. Just to conserve. Oh yeah, th here's a question that I that I uh, really thought up. Like, 
If you want to conserve something, wouldn't you rather conserve something worth conserving? Because it just doesn't seem like the way things are that it's worth conserving that. Like, wouldn't it be first important to find something worth keeping? Um, we have yet yeah, we have been very punitive to, to rapists who are poor. And in fact, like punitive justice and historically when it comes to rapists has been used as a weapon against uh, the black community especially. Um, whether there has has been a rape committed or not. Like, you know, white feminism has been used to um, to subjugate uh, black men for a very, very long time. Should conserve the goods. But should, should we not, like, have to substantiate the the uh, whether those good things are worth conserving or like those things are good how do we come to the conclusion that those good things are good it seems like a lot of conservatives tend to consider that um, you know a thought process as you know because it is old it is good you know what I mean like I have no problem with conserving traditions and, you know, like preserving them because obviously that's, 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 you know, that's just history. That's just, history is like exciting. Done gradually. Yeah. Yeah. You've mentioned that as well. And like, I, I agree to a certain extent. Um, it's just that, um, some time we're just not very human beings aren't very good at um judging scale we, we have no concept of scale like it's easier for me to understand that I, I don't think a lot of um neurotypical people understand what i mean when i say that um uh, it's easier for people with adhd to understand because all i need to do is say you know like the concept adhd people tell tell me how you experience the concept of time and then they'll be like, well, that's a very hard thing to conceptualize for me because I'm ADHD. Humans in general are garbage at um, understanding scale. So when it comes to deciding on what things need to be done and how fast they need to be done, we're very bad as individuals at coming to those conclusions. And I feel like that's why we're sort of like dragging our feet on a lot of um, a lot of things, which really there's not enough time to drag our feet on. So yeah, gradual reform is definitely less painful, and uh, you can point to uh, historical examples such as uh, the uh, rapid industrialization of the Soviet Union as one. Of the uh, one of the re arguments against rapid change, because that caused uh, re the rapid change in that in that circumstance caused um, so much pain and suffering uh, to so many people. Um, however, since we're unable to really conceptualize the concept of scale, the amount of suffering that that caused is still less than the suffering that was caused by capitalistic um, industrialization and the continued suffering like it's almost as if like I mean like this is this is we're, we're talking about collateral damage here and obviously one life lost is uh, one too many um, but what I'm doing is a comparison between two awful things uh, would you rather uh, a billion people die over a hundred years, or a million people um, die um, over ten years? It was conservative and it caused bad change. Comes in, don't change too quickly or change something. Well, yeah, for the same reason, for the same reason that I think that um, anarchists should have a voice in uh, ML circles. Obviously, there there is definitely a place for. 
um, caution, caution when it comes to gradual change and having voices there to say, to ask those questions. But they need to be valid questions and they need to be scientifically ba valid. Yeah. I just feel like conservatives, conservatism would make a lot more sense if we had something worth conserving, I guess, is, is, is the main driving thought process that I have thinking about this particular issue. I just don't think we have something worth preserving yet. I honestly, like, the, the past two years of my life has been a living hell um, when it comes to my experiences of living under capitalism. Like, it's just been a living hell, and I've seen other people living through that same hell, and it's just... Why? Why, why is this acceptable? Why, why, should, why, why is this what we're supposed to be conserving? Why is this worth saving? And I guess for, for me, the idea that it being traditional isn't a good enough, is just isn't good enough, because like a tradition of uh, violence and pain and suffering is still pain and suffering to me. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I agree, like, the when it comes to the church, there's so many things, there's so many good things that can be taken from the church, but it just seems to be so corrupted. Such a corruption in society. <sighs> the hell? That's weird. Huh, sometimes it doesn't work. That is weird. I guess I like I've worked in so many different jobs in so many different areas and I've seen so much alienation from our labor and from the things that we enjoy in life. Um, I'm an example of uh, someone who's, you know, found a way to uh, create a productive, like, to be productive under capitalism while playing, but while, you know, playing video games, something I'm supposed to just do for fun and enjoy. It's just weird to me that this is, this is the kind of society that we've created and that we're all happy being in but even that statement doesn't make sense because we just we don't seem to be pretty we the only people who seem to be happy under this circumstance are people who have things already you know like no shade against my parents my mum's been through a lot but she she doesn't like looking at the news she doesn't like facing the problems of the world because she is living a comfortable life because she has because she has things and it, it, it's I, I again no shade like she worked hard to get where she is it just seems unfair that I've worked so hard for so long and I'm nowhere near where she was uh, when she was my age you know building a house two kids career um yeah and there's no room for mistakes in my life there's absolutely no room for mistakes literally um you know one one mistake can cost me a thousand dollars and a thousand dollars is just going to push me into debt that uh, i can't afford to uh get out of yeah yeah. Yeah. Just seems... Seems like, um... When someone calls... A lot of the time when someone calls themselves conservative, I don't think they think as deeply about what that means to them as uh, you do, Happy Puritan. To be perfectly honest, like I think you put some actual thought into where what you mean when you say things, and that's the difference. Mm. 
Yeah. And I think that that would be a very, uh, a very good. Uh, I mean, honestly, like, uh, am I am I a conservative for wanting to preserve Medicare? Because it seems like um, uh, the conservatives in my country want to destroy Medicare, and 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 Centrelink. They seem to want to, uh, you know, take away the traditions that uh, we enjoy here in Australia. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of funny that. Turning of the turning of the tables, the turning of the screw. Yeah. What are you trying to conserve is the question. I would like to conserve social safety nets. <laughs> which is a valid which should be a valid form of conserv conservatism at the end of the day, when you think about it. Gosh, I got so many of these. Yeah, it is time to continue moving it at a low. Ah, yeah. The ones who want to maintain socialism with liberals in the 90s. Yeah. I guess it all comes down to the question of what you're trying to conserve at the end of the day. Um, and if what you're trying to conserve is, you know, hatred against races, gen like pr the preservation of things which are damaging, like uh, gender ex gender norms and expectations and all of that stuff, if that's what you're trying to conserve, uh, I, 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 yeah, that those, those things need to be justified. Everything just needs to be justified in a certain way. So I guess saying you're conservative isn't enough to um, really tell someone what their political um, views are. Just means they want to conserve a part of their tradition. Well, a part of my tradition, like my up, my upbringing, my entire upbringing, my tradition has been uh, to love my neighbors, like the 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 sort of like almost communist traditions of uh, my my uh, church upbringing, like the things that were taught to me in words, but never really expressed with actions. I want to conserve the idea of um, a world I was never born in. And I think that's what a lot of people do. Like, not just conservatives, but also, like, leftists. We want to preserve uh, the lives of... We want to conserve an, th this ideal of society. We all want to conserve the what we want to um, have in society. We want to conserve our place in society. Social Christian de Democrat. Eh, that's a good one. I just want... I just don't want... Um, I just don't want my nephews to have to go through the same things I did. Fuck that. I don't want anyone to have to deal with the shitty things I've had to deal with. Hmm. I want them to be spoilt. I want them to expect uh, more than they're given. 
And I want them to pass that those that expectation of progress to their kids. I want to preserve the the the, the you know ancient drive that we we as humans have always had to improve and grow and learn. I want, that's what I want to preserve. That's that's why what, what I want to conserve. If I was a conservative, that's what I would um, advocate for, but um, it doesn't really fit with um, a lot of st what would be labelled as conservative messaging. Mm. Uh, I guess that's just me going on another communist rant. I just maybe maybe progress gets in the way of justice. What is justice though? Sticking someone in a prison where the the same the same old um you know violence is passed down from father to son, mother to daughter. MB to MB. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Rapid and forced industrialization has, uh, you know, done. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I definitely agree with that. And I suppose that, in a sense, is a form of progress in inverted commas. Um. Hmm. That's why I guess uh, progress needs to be a bit more democratic, maybe. With protections for the minorities uh, in those areas, basically. To have more power in uh, local government and less power in um, um, national government. In certain ways, justified hierarchies and such need to need to be um, worked out. I believe in a thing called love. Let's go run the rhythm of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. I can remember all the words of the song. I believe in a thing called love. Ooh, ooh, guitar. Good song. Love is a sacred thing. Yeah. We've done a good job of uh, marketing it, as you say. It is interesting that the only love love that is acceptable in our society is uh, that dictated as acceptable by the market. I mean. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. You know, it wasn't until the market accepted gay rights that uh, it actually started being, you know, a real thing. Pressing to think about, but it's fucking true.
Sort of slowly trying to make this so I don't have to change the ch change the routes of the friggin' tractors. <clears throat> oh, yes, I haven't actually completed that part. Oh dear. I should do that now. Continua. Sing of that great day when all will be one. God will reign. We'll walk with each other as brothers and sisters. What about the ambies? What about the what about the the in betweenies? What about the what about the non binaries? They get to hang out with Satan. I, know, I hear that Satan's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Has has some. Uh, he likes to play games. So. <sighs> Satan! Satan. Satan hates everyone. Lame. Wait. You know, that, that sounds a lot more like, um, like, uh, the right wing's version of God, honestly. When you put it like that. You telling me that uh, they believe in a false god? Gasp. How dare you? I do. I love it. It's so fucking fun. It's so fucking fun to accuse everyone everyone else of heresy but when when it's so freaking apparent as well. That's it. I don't know. Jesus would have hung out with me. I was a prostitute, so Jesus would be like, Oh yeah, she's good. She's cool. Jesus loved hanging out with the prostitutes. I wonder why. Johns must repent for their sins. Eh, well, I guess that's where we differ. I don't consider it to be a sin. I call it to... I, I, I consider it to be a health service.
I just look at all the, the health benefits to sex and the negative um, effects of um, sex stereotypes, just the way that that affects um, people in society. I just feel like the benefits outweigh the negatives. me saying I feel again when I'm talking about like actual consensus that we have on scientific uh, knowledge about the health benefits of this stuff it's weird that I do that maybe it's because I I have I I feel like yeah <laughs> I have I have a uh, instinctive um, like drive to not offend no matter what I'm talking about I don't know, like, I'm a Buritan, I, I, my life has been in danger, um, more times as an, as a delivery driver than, um, ever, I ever was in danger as a, as a sex worker, which, you know, coming to that realization the other day was a pretty fucked up thing to think of. Not the health benefits. Yeah, no, but the practical harms, like... I, I'm more harmed by capitalism than I am by, um, by the sex, by sex work. I have more, I had more control over my life, um, as a sex worker than I have ha ever had in any other part of my life. It's just... Yeah. set my wages, set my boundaries, set everything myself. Yeah. Well, the problem, the, the, I guess where we differ on that is that I consider that to be an issue within, um, the, within, like, the capitalistic aspects of the sex, sex trade, uh, sex work, um, uh, rather than, um, you know, anything else. Farms of capitalism, the market is where the stakes are so high that the market isn't trustworthy. Mm, I disagree. 
when it comes to um, the amount of deaths and injuries, um, we, we really need to be looking at um, male-dominated um, trades, like construction. Like construction work is like the most dangerous work. I've always been I've always been a men's rights advocate. I'm a feminist. Patriarchy hurts us all, brother. Any position is that Swedish thing? What? There's more than one position? Missionary? Legalize the sale, criminalize the buying. Yeah, nah, I disagree. The only the only reason I disagree with that is uh that as soon as you criminalize some when you criminalize something you uh make it um impossible to regulate. Uh, it just causes other issues in the, in the long term with uh, trying to solve the underlying... Because there are underlying reasons behind the need for sex work. And um, one, of the, one of the biggest um, influences that I've noticed is um, the stigmatization of homosexuality. Well, it's like one of the biggest, biggest factors for, um, for uh, you know, uh, niche, niche work like uh, trans uh, sex workers, like huge market there simply because of the way uh, we've been taught to treat people who are uh, gay or queer or different you know Pornography harms women because it's based on misogyny. Mm. 
The pro I've heard that argument. The problem with that is that there's actually no that there's that that the that concept is based on anecdotal um, evidence and isn't backed up by any sort of like actual uh, scientific uh, study into the uh, topic of how that influences people's um, expectations and how to. Um, uh, oh, sorry, I just noticed that one. Mm. Um, yeah. Those sort of things, though, we do see, see kind of going away by themselves when we, when we have social inclusion of ideas like treating women, like, as not objects. When it comes to media, um, representation, media reflects social opinions of the day. It doesn't inform social opinions of the day there is a, to a certain degree it does inform like it, it media and pornography reflects social norms not the other way around that, that that's where that's where that's what we understand about um like media representation and all of that um it doesn't change people's minds about how to treat someone like someone who's gonna abuse women is just gonna abuse women. It's not gonna. It's not gonna take a um, a porno flick for them to do that. Um, it's it, it's bigger. The, 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 these are social problems that need to be tackled tackled on a macro level rather than on uh, criminalizing um, pornography. And you can see, as you can see, the trends in uh, pornography, um, like more and more uh, pornography uh, being made to appeal to, um, you know, women. They prey on our so social weakness. It reflects the evil in our hearts. We shouldn't be free to indulge in that in terms of porn. Well, I mean, that's a th that's a thing. Like, if we tack it on a macro level, do you see that after watch it, watching it, men get vi more violent? No, we don't. Not after watching it, no. That 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 doesn't that doesn't uh, hold up with the current understanding on media, like we, not just pornography, but like media in general, um, like it's been a very intensely studied and debated. Um, topic for a very long time like it, it even comes down to the whole violence in video games thing um the media does not influence it reflects that's what we know about media like yeah There's some really interesting studies into, like, um, kids that play GTA, and you would expect those kids to be more violent, but on average, uh, in these studies, they found that they were less violent in their day-to-day -day life. Um, yeah, and just the general consensus amongst scientists when it comes to uh, studying, social scientists when studying these issues is, is an idea of uh, media reflecting um, our in our internal bio biases as a society, rather than the other way around. Hmm? This is a study on porn specifically. I'm talking about media in general as well. Teen violence uh, between so the association, okay, has been linked with uh, the less of known. Exposed to 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 violent print report. Wait, what? TDD, TDV. What's TDV? Teen dating violence. Wait a second. Perpetrate. They're using weird language in this. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't differ at all, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's it's you 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 that you are doing the same thing that people have always done is conflating um, 
association um, with cause uh, like uh, conflate, uh, conflating uh, correlation with causation. Like this, this, this study doesn't say the same thing that um, you think it does, which is make, make which makes sense. Research highlights the importance of considering. Chris, you can forward additional work as a Yeah. So this doesn't. This do, I mean, for the for for one thing, this this study doesn't um doesn't find a causal link between um, violent pornography and violent uh, teenagers. It just shows a um, association with which what that means is there is as much likely there is much as much in a vacuum uh, there's as much likelihood as um, uh, violent teenagers seeking out violent pornography as there is um, them um, being made to be more violent by violent pornography. Um, but what we know about the rest of media consumption and how that interacts with society is that we know that um, it, it it's, it's a reflection of um, our uh, the way we treat each other in society rather than the other way around. So we can generally extrapolate from that model to be a more successful idea of why these things are the way they are. Basically, in a nutshell, the the study doesn't show a causal link. Um, so there's no way to make a case for um, pornography being a cause of any social ills. It's just simply simply a correlation. Well, I mean, it could be either way, but the thing the the thing is like, it's it's it's. It's not a because it's not the causal factors like for these things that we we do know other causal factors for why people are more violent, and the number one reason, not like one of the biggest like causal like we know this causal links of violence, sexual violence, um, you know, like any violence is lead in the atmosphere. That is one of the most established links between violent tendencies. Um, uh, it, it, like, correl it maps... It, not only do we have studies that show a causal link between violent tendencies, like, biologically, um, studying these things through, like, you know, seeing how lead interacts with our brains and um, our development. We know how lead interacts with these things. We also see the, uh, like, associating, um, the associating, like, the, the correl correlative link. So when you have a causal link and a correlative uh, link then you have an understanding of um like how things happen um it's just like i guess w what i would say in this circumstance is if you wanted to reduce like on a macro level like if you wanted to reduce the amount of violence in society um and prevent in violence from increasing today um, you would uh, start immediately removing lead from um, the, um, b b b like, start removing lead from uh, our soil, like, because uh, we actually have a ticking time bomb when it comes to that. Uh, not this generation, but probably the next generation is going to have a similar lead exposure to to their, that um uh, previous generations, like, that, uh, manifesta manifested the, um, like, pandemic of, uh, well, pandemic of, um, serial killers in the U.S. in the 70s and 80s. Like, that's been linked to lead, uh, poisoning and, uh, lead in, uh, like, yeah. It's just, it's just, like, stuff like that is boring, though, and, uh, it's expensive. <laughs> So it's not likely that people will actually, uh, you know, pursue those kinds of uh, reforms. Like, 
but you know it's out there we do know what we can we, we do have actionable things we can do to re reduce violence and sexual sexual violence as well comes falls under this umbrella uh, it is uh, removing lead from um, the atmosphere um, and from uh, the soil especially at the moment but yeah like I'm not saying that you're wrong though Harry Puritan I'm just saying like there's no evidence to go there so it's not something I um I, I can't I, I don't support policy that um, I wouldn't personally support policy that um, uses the that um, framework when it comes to coming to decisions it's really yeah I mean like it's I'm not saying and and I'm not trying to say that the study is is uh, stupid either it is important to be able to uh, create uh, causal links. Uh, cor correlative links uh, between things because like I said earlier like that's one of the ways that we understand how things interact socially but unfortunately without the other side of it like actually creating that causal link like like we can do with lead um, we can't actually create effective policies to um, to, to combat these things uh, because we just don't know for sure um, with our current uh, scientific understanding. It might turn out that, hey, um, I was wrong and, um, like, uh, pornography does cause violence. But there's no... There's no, uh, there's no consensus, there's no conclusive evidence, there's no biological evidence, there's no, um... real... way to legislate on that. And also, there's, there's also the the other social factors that uh, we understand about how how um, regulation works to um, protect people um, and how the lack of regulation of the, the sex industry um, causes like um, demonstrably causes um, a lot of the problems that people seek to solve through the criminali criminalization of uh, sex work and like if again like uh criminalizing uh the purchase of sex work like uh, i yeah i'm i'm very suspicious of anything that um serves to put people in prison for one thing because that's historically been used to um to attack the uh black community in America especially anything anything that you criminalize will immediately be used to attack black people like that's just how historically we've been we, we work as a society unfortunately um, so that needs to be taken into account um, who, who does this affect is I guess is my who, who does this affect the most is, is my my like position on that and um, what what is it actually going to do those are the questions that I have. I think more things need to be decriminalized and uh, we need to look into actual um, effective um, solutions to a lot of these problems. Because a lot of the time when we criminalize stuff, it's like sweeping it under the rug and we don't want to really pay attention to the way that affects the most... Um, vulnerable people in our communities because yeah historically criminalization has been used to hurt black people especially you know um, you look at uh, marijuana use uh, you look at um, criminalization of drugs like um, like you just just look at fentanyl today and how that is so enmeshed with um, uh, people's perception of black people in America. It's disgusting. You know, you talk, you bring up fentanyl, um, it's almost like it's a dog whistle for the black community, um, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like black people shouldn't be associated with a drug. They should be associated with like. Good, fu good food, good music, and just, like, an incredible culture that uh, you know, white people like to steal and appropriate. <sighs> just 
Yeah. Very complicated process. The problem is though that these days, like as soon as I see, um, like, with like I can usually tell what a um, study is gonna say about an issue, and I already understand like where what is someone's trying to say with a particular study before I even read the study. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've looked into this stuff so much with, like, chuds. And it's important to remember as well that, like, not not enough people have, um, have uh, academic literacy, like, literacy at an academic level, and that is a failure of society, not upon them as individuals. Um, unless they're, unless you're Stephen Crowder, in which case, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, this is so this is so relaxing. I know that all I'm doing is like just just building a uh is it and we go. I'm just building walls, but I love building walls. Or covering up the natural landscape. I just find it fun, and it will be funny when I finish. Who was who was transphobic? Wait, I'm so confused. Stephen Crowder? Did they come out? Still waiting for that. Oh, Dworkin. Dworkin. I, I just remember watching that, um, that, I, I was, uh, cause I, I, I just posted it this morning, I just, uh, made it public this morning, um, the, the, uh, reaction I did to, the reaction I did to, um, that, uh, Oxford, uh, University lecture, or the debate, where the, where the one woman who, like, was a sex worker just like goes on of like a rant and it's amazing and she's just saying absolutely nothing the entire time just saying the the sex you see on the screen is fake and i'm just like yeah we know that yes yes that's that's true um i don't know why you think that that's it own but what do you say to people who come out of the closet after years of spreading homophobia and transphobia um, I hope that they never have to experience the shit that, um, black trans women do. Uh, uh, I just call out the, I'll just call them out for whatever they do. Um, you know what, you know what, like, I, I think that they should be deplatformed. For the same reason I think that, uh, Andrew Callahan should, because... I may not be emotionally affected by the things they've said and done, but there are other people who have been, like, severely severely traumatized by the results of their um, transphobia. Mm, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, that's, 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 I, I, I understand where you come to that, yes. I understand wh how you've come to that um, position. Um, I, I... What the fuck can I do here? I do understand where you've come, how you've come to that conclusion. I just, I am of the, rather than causing or promoting, um, it, it's, it's, it's a reflection of our society, and there are more actionable ways to solve those problems with society, which help a lot more people. Um, then, um, just banning something. Understanding it first is, uh, more important, and we can't get to an understanding if it's, uh, criminalized. We can't, we can't, we can't understand and study, um, we couldn't understand or study marijuana use until, um, that had been dec decriminalized, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't actually have any real study into that because the American government and most, a lot of other governments had uh, made it, um, 
uh, illegal to study, illegal, not just illegal, but illegal to actually study as well. So that's what that's one of the problems that comes up when when you um, do that, uh, and just it creates a chilling effect on anyone trying to solve the underlying causes of uh, these problems because the violence is going to be there whether you ban it or not uh, we know that much the, ba the violence against uh, trans people was there has always been there and still there um, and the solution to that isn't the media that uh, attacking the media that um, reflects our biases against uh, minorities it's it's attacking the biases that atta that uh, you know hurt our minorities. What's the, what's the Louisiana law, law? I think I think that having um, have legalize, legalizing porn and regulating it heavily um, is probably the best uh, way forward under capitalism. But obviously, um, moving from a Moving away from a uh, moral perspective when it comes to pornography and closer to a medical one to study the uh, needs of the people and try and get those needs met without it being a damaging um, force is probably a, a, a more effective um, activity, I guess. Age of verification for a real ID. Yeah, you know what? I really wish that IDs were, um, I, yeah, I really wish that IDs were, um, less, gosh, less used against poor people in society. Fuck, I hate capitalism. IDs are awesome until you put it into a capitalist country. So then you have voter registration laws. <sighs> Moderate cautious reformist. Um no, I'm I'm no I'm I'm more radical than that. I want legalization and um regulation. I, I don't want reform. I want um I want the abolishment of the current way that we um operate under when it comes to pornography, because uh, it hurts the workers uh, in the same way that um, all of capitalism hurts uh, hurts the workers. I'm more like a rise. You have nothing to lose but your chains and all. <laughs> And you're like, look at the science and see what's best from the research. Well, that's what I'm always like for everything. I'm a, I'm a materialist. I find my I find my meaning within my Christianity Christian beliefs through the study of God's works. I'm a materialist Christian. Yeah. Ah, I did it the wrong way around, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, wait, that is correct. All right. You were there. Yeah, when people tell the women robbing John's to the extent that they're true, I'm like, gosh, I hope that she does it again. Yeah. Well, I mean, I used to joke about, um, you know, um, fuck, fuck, fuck the bourgeoisie, literally. That was one of my favourite um, sex worker jokes. It's also a very good song. Fuck the bourgeoisie. And I love the way she says bourgeoisie in the most annoying way possible. It pisses off so many people I know, and I love it. It's like, yes, yes. 
Make make the literature nuts angry. Let's do it. Do it. Pistol with <laughs> fifty bucks. Oh my gosh, poor things. Some of the some of the rates that I've heard from women like working like in my country, Australia, just make me sad. I'm just like, honey, we're worth so much more than that. Mm. Never sell yourself short. So you are worth. You're always worth twice as much as what you like. Honestly, under capitalism, you are always worth twice as much as what you're currently getting. No matter what. Just as a just 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 as a basic rule of thumb, you are always worth twice as much as what you're currently getting. Because if you were getting what your if you were being paid what your labor is worth, then there would be no no need for uh, a capital owning class. Like that their their job would be like completely redundant, and they wouldn't be getting paid with your labor money. Profit the profit your the 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 profit your capital o capital uh, owner makes is uh, taken from your productive capacity as a worker. Mm -hmm. oh, this looks so cool. Time nine thirty four. You know what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna play some cyberpunk. I know it just saved, but I'm also going to take a quick break. I'm going to do all other things, so don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though, I will be right back after these, these announcements. Yes, capitalism. I'll be back. And we're back! Cyberpunk time. I'm a cyberpunk. Like, hum, hum, hum. Receive in-game rewards. It better not be NFTs. Is all I have to say. Fuck NFTs. Capture. Excel. No. See project red. <laughs> I've got some sweet and sour pork. Yum. Mm. Mm. Seriously? Air fryers are the best. Mm. I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. Testing. Oh, here we go. Now I can hear it. Hey, everyone. Feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City? Called Kujira, or The Whale. Nope. Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Alright. I'm gonna play for about half an hour. Let me know if my, um... My upload is weird. Okay? So I won't know. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, neighbor. Paid in full time. Let's do it.
It just seems weird that there's fast travel in this game, like that you that you'd need to actually go to like a fast travel point. Why? This isn't an MMO. Oh yeah, that's right, he's down there. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna need you here! I'm walking here! <clears throat> <clears throat> Is that a gun? Hey kid, hey kid. My dad, he's uh, just over there. Oh. Do you need money? Can I give you money? Can I give you money? Can I give you money? Kid, kid, can I give you money? Oh. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Oh yeah. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more what? than me. Not taking him all the way to my grave. Here. <laughs> Thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Mmm. Mmm. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Mm-hmm. Titanium bones for carrying capacity. Nice. Noise, noise. Hands. Smart link. Okay. This uh, directly links the optical implant to the weapon system. Okay. Ballistic co processor, smart link, smart link. Oh, I, I want to punch people. I want to punch people. I need straight cred, straight cred. Gorilla arms, that's what I want. 20 straight cred. Doom! I'm on 10 at the moment. I'll get there. I will get there. Circulatory system. What's this one? Micro generator. Instantly restores 3% health after you discharge a fully charged weapon with a hit to an enemy. Mm -hmm. Reach protocol. Meh. Ooh, frontal cortex. RAM upgrade. Ooh, Mark II and then Mark III. Ah, oh, it's for extra mod slots. Nice. What's integuminary system? What's an in, in integuminary system? What the hell's that? Is that my skin? Oh, it's my skin. Plating. Nice. Nice. Increases arm by 50. Hells yes. I need to come back for that. My nervous system. Aim and shoot while sliding or dodging. Slows time by 50% for 1.5 seconds. Oh, that's so cool. I always forget what the dodge button is. About legs. You don't need those. Fortified ankles. Reinforce. Oh, double jump. There's a lot of cool stuff here, but what I really want, what I really, really want. I need more street cred though.
But yes, I need to upgrade myself. I can get this for now. Yes. So this is everything he sells. Bounce back, bruising berserk, whatever that is. Uh, explosives. Oh, it's, it's a crafting spec. So I can craft shit like this? Make it mean I can craft? Oh, wait. So I can craft these three things. Oh. All right. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Now I can carry more stuff. What else is there to do around here? What's this? Completed gigs? What's this? Oh, what's underneath the food? There's something there underneath the food. What is that? Search and recover. That's around the corner. I can do that. with the scary music suddenly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know what? I'm good, I'm good. I'm going the other way, but... Yep. Yeah. Ain't my fucking problem. Ooh, hello. Loot. Whoa. Fucking hell, don't shoot over here. What is that? What's going on over there? Nothing. Nothing going over there. But like... Well, nothing that I care about anyway. Oh, hey. What's up? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal some stuff. Mine now. <laughs> Rubbish. Oh, wait, go in the opposite direction. You know what? Is it up or down? This is very unclear to me. Alright, I'm going down. Stupid GPS being... Gosh, why is... Why are future GPSs so shit? That's my question.
Virginia Jones, read message. What a call. Jacob wants his implant back. Got a call from Jacob Lamb, friend of mine, director from the good old days. Ex director, should say. Hmm. <laughs> Huh? V. See you around. Bye, V. Remember, the media lies. Mm hmm. Resident. I'm not suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, it. He was suspicious. So wait, so wait, like, oh, oh, there's a guy there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, well. Why is there someone there? Is there someone up there, maybe? Wait a second. Can I parkour up there? Parkour. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Fuck off. Let me jump up there. You let me up there before. Why can't I jump up here? Oh, he's not up here. I was just imagining it. Oh. Get some cash. Who's so angry on this side of the frickin' house? Oh. Breach Crotoso co thing. Fifty five E nine.
Well, if she wasn't dead before... Wow, did I make it through with that, uh... What can I do with this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, wait. Alright, 55, 55, 89. About 30 seconds. 55, 50. Okay, cool. I got some cool stuff. I didn't realize that was the thing I could do. So axe point access points give me special shit. Very nice. There's two guys over there. And I did it! Quietly as well. Jacob sends you his heartfelt thanks. Also says he'll um keep a closer eye on his implants from now on. <laughs> Closing the game. Did it. Oh, what's the loot in this area? Do, these guys just don't care that I'm taking everything, do they? This is weird. Just heaps of crap. Just lying around for me to take. You don't mind me taking everything from your from your uh, trunk there, man? You don't care that I've stolen everything around here? Hey, man. I'm taking your food. Five finger discount, yeah. 
What is that? It's a television. Ah. Ah. I like your hat. Oh, it's got a little fan on it. That's so cool. Consumables. What's next? There's a mutiny dude. And there's a side job. Gun for hire. Neutralize the target. Yes, please. Don't fuck with me. Get enough of that in real life. the turn off. I was so focused on trying to get three people. That I missed the turn off. Out of my way. Nice car. doing anything for the fucking cops. <laughs> Fuck you. Jatero Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The mocks finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Okay. So I just need to kill us. I need to kill someone then, I guess. Wait, do I have to kill him? Yeah, this one. Uh, all right. Tell him his tell him. So I need to go to him to tell him. So words or actions? Hmm. Pardon me. Just one of them. Wait, what? Jack in. Oh, 
Okay. Nice. B9, BD. BD. Wait, what? E9. C, B, D. Oh, okay. Have mercy. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. So there are things that I can jack into, I guess. It's okay. Is this guy gonna hurt me if I walk up to him? Do -do -do -do. A weapon vending machine? What? You just get random ve ve weapons from machine from vending machines now. Wait, are they gonna attack me if I walk in here? This is my biggest annoyance. Is like I don't know. What can I get you? Hey. Feeling a bit thirsty. We'll fix that right away. Oh, I can buy shit from him. Heard you got a special offer for you or more. Demand. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Recommend anything? A connoisseur. For you, we got hot BDs. Extra real feel. Any gender, race. Speaking of, of uh, sex work. Fire up those synapses. Get that serotonin pumping. Wanna have a word with Jotaro? You have a death wish? Some people mm -hmm. say so. Leave a while, you still can. Trust me. Well, it's nice that there's actually dialogue for the dudes now. I'm sorry, no matter how much you, like, hype up your game, you're always gonna make... They're never gonna look realistic. I mean, what is she Why supposed to be doing? Whoa! What is she doing there? She's just standing what there with her I phone to her ear. This is the future, why has she got a phone? Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. I'm leaving. Dude, it's okay, buddy. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, he just doesn't like me. If you open fire on me, I will kill everyone in here, I swear. Oh, hey, it's the thing. It's in here. the back door. It's in here though. Oh yeah. Athletics level two.
Anything good in here? What's this? Aha! Oh, I can't do it. Lame. Hey, Jack him. Give me some stuff. VD fifty five one C. Oh, cool! I can do two. <clears throat> Your internet might be bad. Is it like being jittery? Because that might be me. This is what sex and drugs does to a motherfucker. Hmm. Oh, I haven't made it in. Other ways to get what through. Can I... can this I... is the front way. There is a side way through the, with a couple of guys hanging out in here. But this all looks very dangerous. Where's my local map? Lame. Is there a back back door though? That's my what question. Can I get you? No, there's only two ways in. It's here and here. Wait, what? It's up there. Oh, hey. You have a nurturing air. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, okay, don't hurt me. I need to. Maybe there's a back door around here? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Ooh! But there's loot! Loot! Flashbang grenade might help. I think I might have to run and gun this one. Guys, you're gonna have to. Oh, I might try and distract the guy who's at the bar, maybe. What Something. Can I get you? Oh, cool, there's a thing. One C, one C, fifty five. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I made it in. What's this? Technical ability. Here are apologies. Oh, you, the nurturing is a reference to certain that I'm occasionally saying about the but also sexualized. Huh? I mean, my, my wonderful atmosphere. Oh, I can jack into something else. Yeah, I want all of the loot. Give me all the loot. Alright, so 55 E9 BD. Booba! Yeah, good atmosphere. Come on. I want to do this quietly. This one. Jack it. Oh shit. I think someone saw me. What the fuck? Oh, hey, man. Gosh. Ah. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game. The most important thing pick up all the loot. Who's next? Any more? Oh no, I don't want to equip anything, damn it. Fuck that pistol. Where's my where's, where's my where's my bat? There you are. My beautiful one-handed bat. Do, do, do. The foodie guide. Alright, what's this? <clears throat> I almost breathed in something then. Right. Everyone's angry at me, but that's probably because I came in shooting. They aren't dead though. Look. Oh no, wait, that one's dead. 
Y... ya. Yeah. Alright, let's get some old loot. Alright, so 55, 1C, 55. 55, 1C, 55, thank you for the follow, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but thank you, welcome, welcome to the stream, ah! wait, is this, is this like a, a, like a sex place, or is it like, I'm still not entirely sure how this is supposed to work properly. So if I do this, E9, I see... 55... 55? No, I don't know. I don't know how that thing works. <laughs> Other than to get the legendary items, I guess. Good. Do, do. Can I reload? Alright. Reloaded. Alright, there we go. Items. What other items are there? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, I can't connect. Lame. Is there any, uh, can I level up at least? Ah! Level up? Stats? No. Level up? No. Not yet. I need to kill more. Before I can loot more. Where is he? Go oh, in here? Oh, I see. Nothing. Doot doot. Ooh. Okay. Further upstairs, I guess. Nope, this is where I was. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a dude there. Okay. Oh, poor guy. Have time for this. Come on, dude. Dude, hey, 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 dude. Oh. Good night. Do, 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 do. Also, I just realized the guy's name was Jotaro. That's fucking awesome. The world of Jotaro. I love being strong. Strong! Gimme. Wait, someone saw me? Oh, you did. Come on. Oh, 
Honestly, the baseball bat isn't nearly as satisfying as I thought it was going to be, but still an effective piece of hardware. Better than a knife any day of the week. Ow. Wow. What the fuck? What just killed me? Whoa, that killed me in like one hit. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I was at like full health as well. Like, what the fuck? Man. Must have got me in a weak spot. Hmm. Hmm. Um. If you're telling me I have to redo this whole shit. Oh, good. Well, yeah, no shit. They have no. What was they? They there's bodies found. I left them everywhere. Like, everywhere. There's bodies everywhere. I'd be surprised if they missed the bodies. Anyway, there should be body bodies. I, I'm pretty sure that I, I'm non-lethal right now. Oh. Why do you have a ladder going to nowhere? It's so weird. been alerted. Oh no. Do do do. Yeah, why is he dead? It shouldn't be killing him. I, I specifically... I suspic... I specifically requested that I didn't kill anyone. Hey, man. I guess the game didn't listen. I guess the game is gonna have to learn. Uh, anything else I can pick up? It's fucking... This place is a mess! Clean it up! What is through here? Nothing. Jotaro! I'm coming for- whoa. Okay, that thing just exploded. I'm coming for you, Jotaro! Oh, cool. I look so cool when I run with this thing. <laughs> Call me a, a ninja? Nice. I'm gonna do it. Like a ninja. There we go. Like a ninja. Ah, oh, yes, from the hip. Ow, fuck you. Ow, we throwing grenades. I can do that too. Get the fuck down. You okay, buddy?
Come on. I know I heard someone. Really? Oh wow. Okay, that was definitely lethal. The guns I'm using are definitely lethal. Holy shit. That was not intentional. Sorry about your head. I'm sure that we can fix it out in the future. <laughs> Whoopsies! This is a fun game. Okay, let's I'm just looting shit now. Sorry if that bores you. I loot everything. I need to install a, a, a mod on this game so I don't have to keep on pressing the button. <laughs> you can, can I jack in? Jack it. I want a jacket. Yeah, jack it. Nothing in here. Oh, jacket? No. Oh, forcing it open. Yeah. Ooh, purple box. Don't know what that is, but I uh, took it. Ooh, another purple box. A knife? Knives are for pussies. Actually, no. Hey, you're still alive. Good. Can I log into you? No. Wait. What did you say, Regina? What's your messages? Transport's outside. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Are you okay, man? You're just a little bit winded, I think. That's a cool looking bat. I want to change the look of my bat. I want to put a Hello Kitty logo on it. So the last thing people see before they like black out is a, is a cute little picture of a chibi kitty. But I can't level up yet. So I don't know, like, how, how am I supposed to, um, so like, with this, mech looter, grenade, Grenadier shrapnel. I want to be able to log into shit. What is. Yeah. Ninjutsu. Silent and deadly. Yeah, who cares about that shit? Intelligence? Is it under. Oh, it's under intelligence. I need to improve my intelligence in order to get into that shit. Alright, cool. Good to know. I really wish I could, like, reset my stats, though. Bodies to get rid of. What a douche. What have we got on this monitor? Use. Files. Raw edits. Local network. Make the device. Turn off. Turn on? Turn off. Offline. Alright, let's go. Come on. Let's, let's go. Doo, doo, doo. I can't run? Oh, this is bullshit. Can I jump? Oh, barely. I need the jump. I need the jump boosts. Oh, it's just that. Hey, what? Hey! I didn't want to do that. Is there more stuff that I missed? How did I miss stuff? Let's go further downstairs. I think the only way downstairs is where I came. Damn it. 
<sighs> yeah, sorry about the guy I blew the head off. Uh, hope the bartender got away alright. He was a pretty cool dude. Do, do, don't mind me guys just walking around with the uh, unconscious guy he's just drank a bit too much that's all he's just been drinking it's okay no nobody pay attention the hell yeah okay. bye Jotaro! Jotaro, what the fuck? Jotaro! 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 Jojo! Oh, whoa! Dude! Gotta open the door! You, you, you're not allowed to do that! Done right, pleasure doing biz. More eddies coming my way. Noise. Is that my car? No. I'm pretty much unstoppable at this point. Can I level up yet? Oh yes I can! I need to level up my intelligence. Uh, I wish I could just remove what I put into the reflexes. Oh well. Annihilation. Sent. My crafting is all I can do. My engineering, I don't really care too much about. Intelligence, though. Breach protocol. Mass vulnerability demon. Ooh. Increasing money. Yeah, I like that. Give me that. I like money. Mate. You okay, man? Are you okay, though? Get an honest job. What was that, buddy? What's in my area? Oh, there's there's a there is a sabotage mission there. So much I can do to increase my street cred as well. 
I need like more street cred though. Heaps more side job. With that, I'm gonna do next time. So, until next time, next week, Saturday night. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else. And uh, yeah. Oof. I cannot. I. Oh, I understand the name that. Oh, your your name there. Ah, well, I mean, this is the only pink bits you're gonna see. Hey. Take care of yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of, yourself, of uh, someone else, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, love you all.